Hello, welcome to Tesla Everything, where we talk about the latest news and updates all involving Tesla. In today's video, we will cover a Tesla driver who has been spotted in the backseat of a Tesla several times and who is now in question to being arrested. A Tesla driver has been spotted several times over the past week sitting in the back seat while the Tesla Model 3 drives on autopilot. This individual seems to be doing this at a pure enjoyment of other people filming while he's doing this dangerous activity. This behavior is very reckless and puts other drivers on the road in danger. Over the last few weeks, the ability to have a Tesla vehicle drive on autopilot while no one is in the driver's seat has gained a lot of attention after a fatal accident in Texas where authorities reported there was nobody in the driver's seat. The recent news on Tesla has brought a lot of attention to driving a Tesla vehicle on autopilot without being in the front seat, which is not only against Tesla's instruction on how to use autopilot, but more importantly is considered dangerous and illegal. Even though this activity is very dangerous, it has not prevented the new Tesla Model 3 owner from riding in the back seat. The man has been spotted several times in the Bay Area over the last week driving his car. Several sightings were posted on social media. Above, he is seen using his foot to apply pressure on the steering wheel. In order for Tesla's autopilot to stay active, Tesla requires drivers to apply pressure to the steering wheel at regular intervals depending on the speed. The driver's seatbelt also need to be buckled, but the driver can buckle the seatbelts behind their back before activating autopilot. This driver is completely abusing the use of autopilot, which is suited for driver assistance, not full autonomous driving. On other Tesla news, Tesla has now issued a statement to announce that it will create a new database accessible to Tesla owners to get more data from their vehicles. The company didn't elaborate on how the new database will work, but it has previously released new tools for people to retrieve the black box data after a crash. However, this method can be expensive and complicated to operate. This announcement came after Tesla was under pressure by the Chinese government to release data. That will be all for today on Tesla Everything. Like and subscribe for any future updates. And on that note, until the next one.